Hey, it's LEGO Technics Rule here, and in this video I'm going to showcase a machine I made that cascades LEGO pullback motors, or some people call them wind-up motors, in series. And it does this completely mechanically. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enjoy. Okay, so you might be wondering, what does series mean in this case? Well, there are two configurations that you can put LEGO wind-up motors in. You can put them in series or parallel. In the parallel configuration, two or more LEGO wind-up motors share the same axle. In this example, I'm only using two wind-up motors. Therefore, when winding up the two motors that are in parallel, it's going to be two times as hard to wind them up because, well, you have two motors you're trying to wind up at once. However, when you let the two parallel motors unwind, it's obviously going to be two times as strong as just a single motor. If you put two LEGO wind-up motors in series, you would end up with a motor that takes two times as long to unwind as you would with just one motor. Well, how did I do it? Well, that brings us to the topic of this video. I guess, here's how I did it. First, I need to completely wind up all the pullback motors, which this took an ungodly amount of time, so I spared you the time and sped it up seven times. So here's this monstrosity of a creation, and all I need to do to start the cascade is to lift up this ratchet. After that, let the games begin. The first pullback motor begins to unwind. Right when the first pullback motor is about to run out, the second one starts. When the second one is about to end, the third one starts, and after the third one ends, the cascade's over. Once the ratchet is lifted, the first pullback motor can spin freely. The rotation is transferred from the pullback motor, through the differential, and to this gear terrain right here. Differentials are used here so that the active pullback motor will not interfere with any of the other ones. The rotation is then transferred through this middle gear to the load. The reason I have a high gear reduction here is because I didn't want the pullback motors to unwind instantly. I wanted them to unwind slowly. The rotation is also fed into this black module here, and its job is to slow the rotation down to a specific speed. This reduced rotation is driving an arm that will lift up another ratchet for the next pullback motor. Shortly after this happens, the second pullback motor begins to unwind and the first pullback motor runs out. And after that happens, the whole process repeats, but with the third pullback motor. That's about it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and keep on building. building, 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 building.